In this video, I'm going to show you the cause and resolution of the Excel VBA runtime error 91. Object variable or width block variable not set. Now, if you're having difficulty solving this error, then it's probably because you don't understand how objects work in VBA. Now, once you do understand objects, you will easily fix this error anytime it occurs, and it will really help you as you write your VBA code. The first thing to understand is that there are two types of variables in VBA. So there's basic variables and object variables. A basic variable is a variable that holds a single value. So examples of basic variables are long integer, currency, date, and string. When we declare a basic variable type, it is given a default value. For example, the long integer default type is zero. This means that when we declare a long integer using them, the initial value will be zero until we change it. We change a variable value by assigning a new value. Now you may have noticed that I used the let keyword here. The let keyword is optional, but it makes things clear when we will look at object variables in a moment. We do three key things with basic variables. We first of all declare them, we then place a value in the variables, and we retrieve values from the variables. So this is important to keep in mind. Now the other type of variables in VBA is an object variable. For example, a worksheet, workbook, chart, collection are all objects. An object variable is then used to reference an object. So in VBA, we have two types of objects. We have one that we need to create and ones that we don't. Examples of objects which we don't need to create are essentially the Excel objects, such as the workbook, the worksheet, the chart, the range, and so on. So VBA automatically creates and manages these objects in memory, and we simply need to reference them. When we declare an object variable, the default value is nothing. Now, this is not the same as zero. Nothing means that the object value is not referencing an object. In other words, it is referencing nothing. Obviously, once we have the variable declared, we need to then tell VBA which worksheet we wish to use. And we do this using the set keyword. Remember, we used let for assigning basic variables, and we use set for assigning object variables. Now, once we assign the sheet variable, we then have access to the worksheet methods and can perform some actions on the worksheet. So we can break down the use of object variables into three steps. We declare the object variable, we assign that variable to an existing object, and finally, we use the variable to manipulate the object. Now, if we leave out step two, where we assign the variable to an object, we will then get runtime error 91 when we reach step three. So a better error message would be, the object variable has not been assigned, please assign it to an existing object before you try to use it. So what we need to do is assign the object variable to something, and that will fix the error. So let's look at the code and see exactly how this error occurs. Now I'm gonna step through the code, so I'm just gonna take down my debug toolbar down here, and we click in the sub, and then we step into. Now you can use F8 if you prefer. And then we're gonna look in the watch window, so I just go to view and the watch window, I'll double click just to bring it up on the screen. And now if I double click on sheet and just drag it in here, you can see that the value of sheet is nothing. Now when we step past this line, the value of sheet, now you can see that it's actually a sheet object. So it's got all these different attributes of the worksheet. So pretty much anything we can do in Excel with the sheet, we can do here in VBA. And then we run our next line, which calculates it and everything is good. So there's no problem there at all. Now, if we were to comment out this line and do this all again, we step into the code and you can see that our sheet is nothing because we haven't assigned it to anything. And now if we try and step further, so we try to do sheet calculate, it will tell us object variable or with block variable not set. So it's simply saying our object variable has not been set. If we want to use a collection or a class module that we've already created, then we must create what's called an instance of it. And we do this using the new keyword. Here we have a collection variable, and this is a value of nothing as it is not referencing anything at the moment. We then use the new keyword to create the new collection, and we can then assign the variable using the set keyword, just like for other objects. 
Now we can do all this in one line using new with dim as well, and the result is pretty much the same. The difference between these methods is that the set provides more flexibility as it can be used in a for loop. The most common cause of error 91 is when someone declares a collection or a class module object without using new and then tries to use it. Here I've got a very simple class module called CLS customer. And this class module has one member and it's just simply a variable name. If I want to use this class module in the code, I can declare the variable like this. Now I've just declared the variable, but the variable isn't referenced in an object because we need to create what's called an instance of the object before we can use it. And our variable will reference that object. So if at this point I say customer one, name and I assign that to something. So I say, let's set that name to John. Then when I run the code, I will get the object variable error. So what I've got to do is I've got to, at some point, set it to new. I've got to create the object. So using dim, as I said, this will create the new object, a new object of type customer, and it will assign the variable to it. So now if I step through the code, and let's drop the customer one variable into the watch window, here you see the value is the actual error 91 text, object variable or with block variable not set. And this is fine because in practice, VBA doesn't actually create the object until you use it for the first time. So when I, when I step past this line, you can see that it assigns it to a customer. And if you look in the customer, you can see that it has John. So again, if we get rid of new and I step through the code, when it gets to John, it's nodding. So if it's nodding and we try to access it, then that's when we run into our problem. So in simple terms, we can solve this error in two ways. Number one, assign our variable to an Excel object. Or number two, assign our variable to a new object. If you want to learn more about how objects work in VBA, then make sure to check out this video.